But then I heard somebody say, you're only as old as the man you feel. And I'm thinking, oh, still another reason for a boy toy. That's all we needed anymore. Okay, now, back to 1955. Back to 1955. Isn't that a long? That's bad young. I mean, that 40 is a boy toy to me. Back to 1955. Okay, 1955, Dwight David Eisenhower was president. I actually remember him as probably the first president I really remember. Um, we were in the middle of a Cold War, and I imagine some of you remember we'd have air raid drills in school, and whole cities were doing civil defense drills. It was a chaotic time. But at the same time, it was a growth time. We had baby boomers absolutely flooding the school system. And I was at the very leading edge. I was born right after the war, nine months after, 11 months after the war. And I remember having huge classes, probably some of you do too, of all the kids coming into the school system. <clears throat> so that was also the time that Disneyland opened. I don't know if Patty knew that. Patty knew that. OK. I didn't know that. 55 is California. Right. Yes, California. Right, 1955, California. Disneyland, not Disney World. Okay, um, now the thing that I didn't know that Patty told me about, and I found it very interesting, that in 1955 there was a big flood in Connecticut. And it was so bad that they had to bring Patty home from the hospital in a boat. <laughs> now, now Patty will tell you more about that when, when, uh, when we get done. But I thought it would be fun to think, how would I have seen that as a nine-year-old? And I would have said, hmm, no GPS. The store got disoriented, landed up river, they had to go pick her up. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, it was hell back then with that GPS. People just wandered around in the streets, lost, trying to find their way home, saying, oh, when are we going to get GPS? When are we going to get GPS? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now one of the most important things to me when I was nine years old was the multiplication tables. And uh, as I mentioned, we had big class, and uh, my teacher decided to have a contest. And I don't remember there being a prize, but it was just bragging wise. But whoever saw, said their multiplication tables correctly the first time, won whatever, whatever they won. So she had these um, flashcards, and that you would, uh, she would just give them real fast, you know, and you'd have to pick the answer right, and she'd go up to the next one. Well, my mom and I had a set too, we probably made it. My mom coached me all the time. I really wanted to win this. Because there was like 50 or 60 kids in my class, I and mean, this was a big thing. So I was learning, I was learning, I was getting them right. And uh, the teacher, get, the first day came and the teacher asked for volunteers. I volunteered, and I got them right. Yay. I was the first one. Yay. Now, what's interesting about my fascination with multiplication is that I never did. Multiply, that is. <laughs> 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 and uh, Patty and I had that in common. Yeah, I never multiplied. Me too. 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 I used to watch Gunsmoke, and I hear those women yelling and screaming upstairs above Doc's office, and I said, I don't want any part of that. I said, that must have been one badass stork up there. <laughs> so as I, as I grew up and got away from the stork, uh, I learned about the birds and the bees, and I married. And uh, as it happened, I married a man who had a vasectomy uh, during his first marriage with his first witch wife. <laughs> <laughs> And I uh, had a career, and it never seemed really appropriate to have children. So one time when I was uh, about 50, I got this little glimmer of motherhood. And I thought, you know, I kind of like to have a child. So I went to my local adoption agency, told them my situation, and they said, oh, no, no, no. I said, what do you mean, no, no, no? They said, we don't let women over 50 adopt babies. And I said, why is that? And they said, because we'd be, they'd be laying them down and forgetting where they put them. <laughs> and, you know, and you know, I couldn't disagree. 
Because I set my dog down one day, I hadn't seen it in over a year. <laughs> <laughs> and I just never had the nerve to defrost that freezer. <laughs> oh, no. so, so we left it, and the people, it, the people that bought the house, I'm thinking they might have had a big surprise. I can just hear the gal saying, Henry, look what I found in the freezer. And Henry comes and says, oh, they must have been Chinese. <laughs> Okay, now I thought it would be funny to look at music from 1955 versus music in, in 2015. So I did a little selection. I went to the top 100.